in our city, we use the cell membrane as the city limits because the cell membrane controls what goes into and out of the cell. In our city, our cell wall compares to a toll booth because it's an extra layering that lets things in and out of the cell. In our city, we compared the cytoplasm to the ground because the ground goes through the whole city like the cytoplasm does in the cell and holds everything in place. In our city, we compared the nucleus to the city hall because the city hall controls what happens in the city just like the nucleus controls what happens in the cell. In our city, we compared the chloroplast to a wind turbine because just like the chloroplast powers the cell, a wind turbine powers the city. In our city, we compared the mitochondrion to a power plant because a power plant produces the energy to fuel a city, just like the mitochondrion produces energy to fuel a cell. In our city, we compared ribosomes to a restaurant because just like a restaurant produces proteins for the people in the city, our ribosome produces protein for the cell. We compared the endoplasmic reticulum to the roads in the city because the roads transport people just like the endoplasmic reticulum transports proteins. In our city, we compared the post office to the Golgi body because just like the post office prepares the package to be shipped, the Golgi body prepares the proteins. In our city, we compare the lysosomes to a sewer system or a bathroom because in a city, the bathroom or sewer system gets rid of the waste and in a cell, the lysosomes get rid of the waste. In our city, we compared a small vacuole to a garage because just as a small vacuole stores stuff in the animal cell, a garage stores cars. In our city, we compared a large vacuole to a lake because the lake holds water for the city just as the large vacuole holds fluids for the plant cell.